In this video, we're going to do the problem. A gas is in a sealed container. The lid is pushed down so that the volume of the gas is cut in half while the pressure is tripled. What is the new temperature of the gas if it was originally 900 Kelvin? All right, since I see a setup where we have pressure, volume, and temperature being discussed, and we're also talking about it in terms of doubling or tripling or cutting in half, that tells me I need to use my ideal gas law as a ratio. So we're going to do P2V2 over P1V1 equals N2RT2 over N1RT1. Now I use one and two, you could use initial and final. You're just looking at the gas at one state compared to the gas at a second state. All right, so now I need to write down my given information. So the first thing I'm told is that the gas is in a sealed container. That tells me that N1 equals N2. So the amount of gas does not change. I'm then told that the lid is pushed down so the volume is cut in half. So V2 is one half of V1. And then I'm told that the pressure is tripled. So P2 is three times P1, so tripled means three. And I want to know what the new temperature of the gas is. So T2 is my question mark. And I know originally it was 900 Kelvin, because that's what I was told. All right, so now I can take care of this in my equation. Now the first thing I can do, since N1 equals N2, is I can cancel out the Ns. And the R is always going to cancel out, because that is a constant. So now I can sub in P2 is 3 times P1. And V2 is 1 half V1. And then I have that over P1 and V1. And I'm T2 is my question mark. And T1 was 900 Kelvin. All right, so now I can cancel out the P1s and the V1s. And I'm left with 3 halves equals T2 over 900 Kelvin. So I'm going to multiply the cal 900 Kelvin to both sides. All right, so I need to take my calculator out because I don't want to do that in my head. All right, so my T2 is going to be 1,350 Kelvin. 